Hello and welcome to the daily number workout, fourth grade. We're on number 25. So the word form for 25 is two words, 20. Uh, and since it ends with a five, that is an odd number. So we can go ahead and write odd. There we go. Looking good. Let's go on to our next part, which is factors. So we know one times 25 is 25. Two doesn't go in because it doesn't end with a two. Three doesn't go in because three goes into 21, 24, 28, seven. Four doesn't go in because it's not an even number. Five goes in because five times five is 25 and there's no other numbers in between there. So we have our factor pairs one times 25 and five times five. All right, we're ready to do our addition. So let me get my paper stacked up so you can see it. So I'm gonna clear off some of this and move it up. Make sure I'm still on. There we go. Okay, here we go. Addition, 25 plus one equals 26. 25 plus two equals 27. 25 plus three, equals 28, 25 plus four equals 29, 25 plus five equals 30, 25 plus six equals 31, 25 plus seven equals 32, 25 plus eight equals 33, 25 plus nine equals 34, and 25 plus 10 equals 35. All right, hopefully you got those all right and you're checking your answers. Let's go on to subtraction. So we're gonna start with 35 minus 25 equals 10, 34 <coughs> minus, <coughs> Excuse me. 25 equals nine. And remember, if we're not sure, we can check our answers. 33 minus 25 equals eight. 32 minus 25 equals seven. 31 minus 25 equals six. <clears throat> 30 minus 25 equals five. 29 minus 25 equals four. 28 minus 25 equals three. 27 minus 25 equals two. And 26 minus 25 equals one. Now, if we needed to get out a scrap paper to work these, definitely do always honor you and do it in a view that you can see. You don't have to rewrite it. You can actually do it on your, other, your paper and just check your work as you go. So we can do it a different way. We can start stacking instead of going across, but I want you to see the pattern. So this would be four. Four plus 25 is 29. All right, <clears throat> let's move on to multiplication. Bring that over here. So we're gonna do 25 times one equals 25. Now, I want you to think about this number as an easy number because we're talking like quarters. So if I have two quarters, 25 times two, I have 50 cents. If I have three quarters, 
That is three times 25, I have 75 cents. If I have four quarters, I have a whole dollar, which is a hundred cents. One more quarter, making it five, oops, sorry. This should be a five. This should be a five. Just go back and fix it if you get it wrong. Five quarters is 125. 25 times six. Six quarters is 150 or a dollar 50. 25 times seven equals 175. 25 times eight equals one, oh, sorry, two dollars. Two dollars or 200 because <clears throat> I have eight quarters. 25 times nine equals 225. 25 times 10 equals 250. That is 25 with a zero. All right, so I thought of it that way. If you needed in on your work, you stacked them and did them on scrap paper, that's great too. Or did them on this paper. You don't have to switch papers as long as you have your nice, neat work to check by. Let's go into division here, 25 into 100. I'm just gonna write that real small here. so. It will fit and not mess up with the other things. So we know 25 does not go into one. So we're gonna put a zero here. 25 does not go into 10. You can't get 25 out of 10, but we can get a few 25s out of 100. And when we go up here, we see 100 four times. So we can get four times 25 is 100. Subtract that out, there's nothing left. So if we go into the $25 store with $100, we can get four items. Let's move on to our measurements. So I'm gonna move this up. So you're just checking your work. That's what we do at this point is check our work. So let's get out our standard form of linear measurement, inches, feet, and yards. Just double checking to make sure I'm on the page. Let's see if I can straighten this out a smidgen there. That's a little better. Ooh, how about there? Yeah, that's even better. All right, here we go. <clears throat> we have 25 inches today. That is equal to 25 over 12, because it takes 12 inches to make a foot. So let's break that one apart. So let's do 12 over 12 plus, we can do another 12 over 12, because that's only 24. And then there's one over 20, 12, I'm sorry. So we have 12 plus 12 is 24 plus one is 25. That's what we're trying to. So we broke this fraction apart into these parts and we found one two whole, two whole feet and one twelfth. So we have two and one twelfth feet. Let's go into yards. We have 25 out of 36. So 25, 36 of a yard, partial yard. All right, let's go into our metric system of linear measurement centimeter, decimeter, and meter. And again, let's do 25 centimeters, which equal, and it takes 10 centimeters to make a decimeter. So we're gonna write that fraction here. So we have 25 out of 100 or out of 10, which is pretty good. So let's drop that down and we're gonna make, we're gonna break it apart. So 10 tenths plus 10 tenths plus five tenths. So we're breaking it apart into a whole decimeter. So that would be 10 over 10, one whole. And 10 plus 10 is 20 plus five is 25. That's what we're starting with. So now we see we have one, two whole decimeters. So let's write two whole and five tenths. Two and five tenths decimeters. All right, onward and upward. Meters, we have 25 out of a hundred. So 25 hundredths of a meter. All right, we're ready to go on to our liquid measurement.
And let me move my paper up so you can see. So here we go. All right, so liquid measurement. If we have 25 ounces, that's 25 OZs. We're gonna change that into cups and we know it takes eight cups to make, or eight ounces to make a cup. So now we have 25 over eight. That's an improper fraction, just like this was up here. So we're gonna break it apart and we're gonna put it into eight eighths plus eight eighths plus eight eighths <laughs> plus, so eight plus eight plus eight is 24 and we still have one more to make 25. So we have one, two, three whole cups with one eighth. So three and one eighth cups. And let's go to 25 over 16. All right, so let's go here. We're gonna drop down, we've got 16 over 16 plus nine over 16. So this equals one whole, that's one whole and nine sixteenths of a pint. All right, let's move on to quarts. We have 25 out of 32 to make a quart. Takes 32 ounces to make a quart. So we only have 25 out of 32. So it's a partial quart. And then we have 25 out of 128 to make a gallon. So we just have part of a gallon, part of a quart. We have one whole pint and nine sixteenths of one. We have three whole cups and one eighth of one. And that is our 20. Five ounces. Let's go on to metric liquid measurement, which is millimeters and liters, milliliters and liters. So let's go with 25 milliliters, which equal 25 thousandths of a liter. And there we have it. The number 25 is complete. So I look forward to seeing you our next time for the number 26. Have a great day.